Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today's a little special episode. We're going to take a ride. George, what car are we driving in? A uh, 1960 Pontiac Bonneville Convertible. 1960 Pontiac Bonneville Convertible. And one of our viewers was kind enough to send me something for you. Really? So let me show that. I'm going to give you this box. Hold that for just a moment. And with that, one of our viewers, and let me just show them real quick, Christian Automotive in Albert, Albuquerque, and these guys are uh, people who can work on your car and fix that up, and they, I'll let you, I'll step back a second. So go ahead and open that. They had uh, looked online at your car, which we had before, and with that, they have provided you this which was on their desk they received it as a gift oh, and they wanted to look at this. gift us oh that's amazing <laughs> you know i've got models of of all of my cars except the 60 bonneville i've never been able to find somebody that made a model of the 60 bonneville now and here it is i want to show you this because we're going to be seeing the real deal here flip it over for just a second and the interesting thing with this car is this is a dealer promo car Notice it says the slide lever for narrow track, release Pontiac's exclusive wide track. So just push that lever up. And oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Scroll back down. Oh, we the wide track. The wide track actually opens up for the car. Unbelievable. So to show you Christian Automotive, thank you guys. There might even be a card in there, Christian. But look at this. Let me just show George's cars here. Come on over here. And we've got a spot for it. So let's put it in its spot. Like yeah. so. Made for it. And it was made for all of George's cars on his Just wall. Just perfect. Just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, guys. Yes, what a wonderful gift. Let me just quickly show. These are some of George's awards and some of his other die-cast cars from some of his cars. And we'll just continue to walk out. Now, it's understand it's 28 degrees in Illinois today. But it was a day for George and I to get together. And by the way, we have, you see it, more cars that are die cast. So let's go see the real deal. So Christian Automotive, thank you so much for your generosity and all of your... Uh, wonderfulness of giving us a gift but there is the real deal that he saw on the channel now George what year again 60 it's a 1960 Pontiac Bonneville convertible and this one we've even got birds chirping if you can hear that and this one by the way how long have you had this uh, I bought it in 2010 in Florida uh, since I was 12 years old I've wanted a 60 Bonneville convertible I remember seeing them at the auto show and um, it, it's just a car that, it, that stayed with me all these years I still think it's one of the prettiest cars ever and uh, I, I found it on uh, eBay uh, this one was in Florida and uh, man had it in a huge collection in Florida it was a cars from dreams collection and he was selling this particular car I made arrangements with the guy to go down and look at it, and I had a chance to drive it, and I and I, I was lucky enough to be able to buy it. Um, I I just think it's the design of it is just amazing. And it's a one year only. It's a one year only body style, and it just seems like they got it right. It's it's, it's relatively simple. The, the lines are very straight, and a little bit of chrome on it. It just. Uh, to me, it's just a beautiful, beautiful car. Let me just uh, show that amazing curve in our windshield. And you can see myself off those mirrors. And I'm ready to show you the back end of it. Yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic there. All the little chrome pieces and, and, and jewelry. Yeah, uh, Bonneville and gold lettering. The, the Pontiac uh, logo on the back there. Crest there. Uh, chrome around the taillights. Uh, you just don't see that on cars today. 
I know we're gonna take a right out. Let's take a look under the hood. Now, is this uh, badge here? Is that? Uh, yeah, that's a Pontiac badge. That's wonderful. Look at all the detail in there. And those are the eight lug wheels that Pontiac came out. Pontiac came out with in um, actually in January of uh, 1960. They introduced those wheels. So were, these were not on all the cars. No, no, it was an option. They're eight lug wheels. Uh, very unique to the Pontiacs. You can see a little closer that you got those eight lugs there. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? We're going to look at the interior while we're in there. Oh, spectacular. This is a 389 with a four barrel. Um, the car has been completely restored. Were there optional engines, George? Uh, you could get a tri power on this engine. It was okay. still a 389, but you could get a tri power. And you could also get a four-speed uh, on this car back in uh, in 1960. Really? Was and Pontiac back then was considered a performance car. Get this. That's a tag that uh, came with the car when it was new. All the little details. Is there a, is there a uh, firewall tag on it? We'll um, see. Is it in the door? It's up here, I believe. Oh, I see it. Yeah. The VIN tag, yes. Yeah. Okay. And then there's also one on the door. There's a VIN number on the door, but that's, that's the trim tag. That's the one that has all the codes on it for the color and the year and the, the options. That's a big hood. I mean, George, stand in front of the car for a moment. I mean, you're six foot taller, so I mean that's uh, that's substantial. It's a big car. <laughs> it's a big car. We're not used to seeing big cars anymore. Do it's me a, a favor. Car. Do me a favor. I'll shut the hood. I'll be gentle. Let's. I'm gonna have you start it, and then I, we'll go for a ride in it. Before you jump in, if I may, go ahead. You can shut that. I just want to feature. We got the boot down, but even on the liner there, we got a light. Wonderful steering wheel. Let's take her for a ride, George. Give me a little of that dunk. It's awesome. It's obviously on a little high idle. Go ahead, kick it down a little bit. First time out this year, George? First time. It's been sitting since uh, the last time I started it was in November. That's interesting how we got Pontiac across the entire dashboard. And kind of interesting how we got like this one handrail here. It's for sit down, shut up, and hold on. <laughs> we can turn a heater on in this one today, huh? Holy cow. 
see it, couldn't we? That was dad. What a dashboard, huh? What an instrumentation all, panel. All the detail in these cars is just amazing to me. The wood grain in here. All of the chrome on the dashboard. It's just, there was a lot of, I don't know, I, I call it artwork that went into these cars. A, lo a lot of detail, a lot of imagination. So what made you purchase this one? Um, I, I, my dad took me to the auto show in 1960, and we rode down with a friend of ours, a friend of my dad's, that sold Pontiacs, and I rode down in this brand new 60 Bonneville four-door hardtop for the auto show, and I'm sitting in the back seat. I, I'd never seen anything like it. <laughs> it was so luxurious back there. And then when we got to the auto show, I saw a, a white 60 Bonneville convertible, and it just has always stuck with me. I, I, I was just so impressed with it at first glance. And um, I've, I've always wanted one. And of course, actually, when I was in college, I, I, one, of the, one of my classmates had a 60 Bonneville that his father had given him for high school graduation. And I was very envious. How does the wide track feel? Um, I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, it feels it, normal. It's to a you. very stable car on the highway. It, it just it tracks very well. Um, it doesn't weave at all. It, it just goes down the street basically. And I don't know if that has to do with the wide track or what. But um, they say that it's supposed to uh, make the car a much better handling car with that extra wide track on the front. Well, that would make, that would make sense, right? I yeah. mean, if the wires are, wheels are a little farther yeah. out. Right. I'm just noticing something, too, something on there, and it says, if I can hold it steady, super deluxe. Already out there with the Pontiac logo. I love this car, all of this car's originality. You know, I mean, uh, really gives you a time flavor back to that time period. It's really a lot of fun. That car like this is just such a wonderful cruiser. But it's so comfortable. The, it has a long wheelbase. I believe the wheelbase on this is 124 inches. And that's really so important to the ride of a car. The longer the wheelbase, the, the better a car rides generally. And, uh, you just don't get that in cars now. I think the average wheelbase today is about 112 for most of the cars. Just a wonderful way to start car show season here in oh, Illinois. I can't wait. <laughs> taking out I, taking out the wide track Pontiac 60 Bonneville. Go ahead, you're gonna say. My favorite time of the year. I just can't wait for the spring to come and start getting the cars out. We're getting real close to that. The car shows and And somebody said, somebody told me one time. It was, a, it was a Corvette guy, a Corvette judge, actually. We were having dinner, and he said to me, he said, you know, in the car world, you come for the cars and you stay for the people. And I found that to be really true. I've just met a lot of really nice people, including Lou. Including Lou. I, I wouldn't have had a chance <laughs> to meet Lou if it wasn't for the cars. And uh, it's just it's just a great thing. It's been good for, good for both of us. Well, I want to... Uh, We'll wrap up this video as we're driving along. I just want to share with people that, uh, um, first of all, thank you, Christian Automotive, for being so kind and basically creating this video with your generosity. That I wanted to show uh, George our his newest toy, and uh, and I would just like to say thank you to um, uh, those folks. That was really very nice of them to do that, and I'm really excited about it because that's. That's the only model that I have of this of a 60 Bonneville. That's terrific. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect way to get out, get out of the uh, video with, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. You'll be able to see all the cars on my car story as they come out. But George, always a treat to see you. Looking forward to uh, seeing you at more of the car shows. My pleasure, Lou. Thank you again. Really appreciate it.